Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Aisa Tu and welcome, 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 welcome. I'm so excited to be shooting a sit down video. Guys, I haven't done this for so long and today let's just jump right into it. But before that, <laughs> <laughs> guys do remember to subscribe guys you need to subscribe to my channel you know you need to subscribe so okay so today I'm gonna tell you five things you need to know before you get married to a Senegalese guy um, and this kind of go both ways so without further ado let's just jump right into it so the first thing first um, that you need to know before getting married to a Senegalese is that you're not just marrying him I think I mentioned that before but you're not just marrying him or you're not just marrying her it's two families coming together um, just like in any traditional um, marriages it's two families coming together so be aware that you will be getting a background check so they will want a background on you so they will want to know who your families are the people you come from because in Africa that's really really important to us we want to know you know like if you're really traditional they will want to know what tribe you're coming from and who's your ancestors who's your grandfather and all of that thing what are the achievement and all that but I think now in more modern society they will still want to know who your parents are you know what their religions are how were they brought up how were you brought up so they'll definitely be running a background check on you to make sure that you know their families is coming into you know either a better family or a family that's also that equates to there so we african tends to you know be super confident about who we are and where we come from so we always want to meet our match or better so you will see a lot of african families like a lot of marriages gets really hard because the father or the mother is thinking that oh no we are, we're better than them that's very common in africa so yeah so definitely the first thing to watch out for is that there will be a background check on you and your family so the second thing is um when you're getting engaged to a senegalese guy so the way it works is the husband's family will present the wife family with 10 cola um i will pop it somewhere just so that you guys know what that is they'll present it to the bride's family and upon acceptance they will also give a bride's price so this price is really determined by the families or what the husband could afford and what he him and his wife has agreed upon so there's never a set price for this um, it's really about status and what that husband is trying to prove to the wife and her family so he will give based on that so once the bride price is given it is up to the bride's family to now have the ceremony so what is that it means that she will have to you know how do i she will have to organize a whole entire wedding and sometimes the money that's giving as a bride price is not enough so it will, the rest will have to come out of her family or her own pocket in order to complete this wedding ceremony so this is super common in senegal and that's just how it works and also um before i jump into that um she will also have to buy um her utensil and kitchen items so this is also another common thing where we will buy our bowls our cooking items and then one day taking us to our husband house we will go there with those items it's just the norms there don't ask me why why we do this but i guess it makes a lot of sense um and the third thing is um the night of the wedding so in senegal depending on what tribe you come from whether you're Wolof or you know we also have a lot of Fulani there we have a lot of like Bambara, Maninka and all that so depending on the tribe um, that you come from um, it's very common that the night of the wedding after the ceremony the wife um, is taken by her aunt or a designated older woman who takes her in the shower um, and then give her a shower give her a shower they'll like put hot water and then they'll put cold water so the hot water will represent all of the hard, hardship that happens within a marriage and then the cold water is all of the greatness you will endure or get in the marriage such as you know having children and all of the other greatness that comes with that so once that lady does that they will put you in a white 
a fabric and then they'll hide your face so you'll wear all this white fabric and then they'll take you to your husband's house that night so basically after the wedding he will go back to his house or wherever he's residing and then the wife will stay back in her parents place and then this other ceremony which i will talk about more in that in another video um that would the 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 bryce family will do that and after that that night they will take you to your husband's house in a white um in a white fabric and it's just beautiful but i'll explain more in that like i said and then the fourth thing to know is that upon marrying a senegalese man and you have a ch ch child so you would think that having a child the husband will turn well he does in most cases he'll be so happy you know he'll do all this great stuff to you but it's also like in the senegalese tradition um that the wife has to teral is what we call it so basically she has to show like hospitality she has to show gratefulness for being able to bear to bring a child of that family so basically you're your husband have offered you a child and now you have to show his family how grateful you are by doing the teral so you will either offer them money or you you offer them you know just a lot of stuff to the husband's family so that's also you know very traditional and very known um and i think did i mention all five i think yeah and down here is just my note oh and the fifth thing is public affection i wanted to just add that there is just don't be surprised like if you happen to be with a senegalese guy and he doesn't show public affection this is just in our this is just like cultural so in senegal it will be very it's so rare to see like a couple being outside showing affection so we just kind of are brought up in that type of society so don't be um don't be alarmed um i want to say if you your man or <laughs> your senegalese guy is not showing so much public affection it's just part of our culture and how we were brought up so these are the five things i know i kind of skimmed right through everything like i said i will tell you guys more about the wed the wedding night in another video i really hope you enjoy and learn one or two things in this video guys please do not forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys very soon in the next one bye